there was a fight. Which one of you would win? Uh, David would win, hands down. Uh, it depends if it was a short fight or a long fight. If it was a short fight, John would kill me. <laughs> if it lasted for a day, I'd take him in the end. He's, he's scrappy. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What are we talking about? Um, in my journey, um, when I was in junior high, uh, ninth grade really, God just began to move as uh, a bunch of young people gathered to pray. And we gathered every day. And I think there was a, an initial excitement and shock because I had grown up in church but when students voluntarily decided to get together and pray, we saw students get saved. I mean, you know, you're ninth grade, and you don't have a whole lot of expectation. But then when there seems like something that's bigger than you, something that's just... Yeah. And, and I think for me, I, I think there was a conviction that began for me in ninth grade that prayer matters and that, that prayer made a difference. And mm-hmm. I saw uh, not only salvations, but I saw enthusiasm for God that was really cool for me. And, um, so I guess in a seed-like form, desperation began then. Um over the years, I, I, I got connected um, when I was 18, 19, 20, 21 with a, a church that believed in prayer in a powerful way, and uh, a youth conference ministry, and some, some guys that just really believed in uh, worship, prayer, seeking God, holiness, and, and the nations, and reaching our generation. And so all those things, you know, began in me, mm-hmm. and um, I think, you know, you and I got to New Life pretty close at the same time, but mm-hmm. when... Uh, when I arrived at New Life, I was excited about God doing it in the local church context, and um, and gathered some college students to just start to pray consistently on a consistent basis, and uh, little pieces of what God had planted in John Egan's heart, and Glenn Packing's heart, and Aaron mm-hmm. Stern's heart, and Brent's heart, and Jared mm-hmm. Anderson, you know, different guys, Jared Newman now, you know, different, Jeremiah Parks, just like it, it just it all kind of it all kind of started to come together, and we've seen God move. Uh, in a powerful way, mm. we 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 did prayer meetings. Uh, when we look at church history, um, we know that great moves of God happen when people pray, and that was all we really knew to do. And the Lord had provided mm-hmm. this incredible, huge, gargantuan building that was dedicated to prayer, and so we used it. And we just said, "We we got kids, let's go for it." And so um, the whole desperation thing was. Uh, we want more kids seeking the Lord, the Lord. We want more kids worshiping, praying, living extravagant for Jesus. And uh, and so we decided just to try to get as many people to the prayer center over a weekend uh, to pray and fast and ask God to move in our generation. Right. And um, <laughs> that was in the summer of '02, and uh, and we packed it out. We had to get rid of all the chairs. Amazing. Um, and uh, we broke fire code and. We just worship and prayed and sought God. And the easiest way to connect with what God's doing through desperation is in your own house, in your own city, in your own school, right where you're at. Um, this isn't about connecting really with um, with a church or with, with, with a website or with anything like that. It's mm-hmm. about connecting with what um, God is calling you to do. And so um, we believe that we're all called to be disciples. We've created a vow. Uh, we call it the desperation vow. And we've had you know thousands and thousands of young people take this vow, it's desperate pursuit, uh, to live in desperate pursuit of God, to spend time with Jesus every day. Um, diligent prayer, I believe that God is raising up a, a prayer movement in our generation, and, and we're encouraging every young person to lead or be a part of a prayer meeting in their local church or their campus every week. Um, consecrate a heart, we're encouraging everybody to live a life of intentionally foregoing some of the things of the world in order to increase your capacity to receive from God. So we're encouraging kids to fast, um, to be holy, fast a day a week, yeah. um, fast what you can. If you can't fast food, you know, fast fast television for a day, um, mm-hmm. and focus life. Write out your mission statement. Fulfill what God's called you to. Pray it. Ask the Lord to speak to you. And the easiest thing, way, the thing that we're passionate about is if you'll live that. Well, you'll connect with different elements from where you're at. You may connect with songs or different, you know, events. But the big thing is, is how you live your life. Um, we believe God is doing awesome stuff in this generation, and that's yeah, that's really how you connect. Is live sure. the vow, take the vow, live the vow. You can take the vow online, desperationonline.com. But the real thing is, live it, live it every day.